going on, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to Jess for TV. I am your favorite cousin, Jess. Back on your screen with another vlog, of course. It is Friday, it is 8.28, it is 55 degrees outside, and we're just gonna get a quick little run, walk. We're gonna go outside and get some fresh air because yeah if you guys watched my last vlog which was a jeep vlog then you know i got some routines that you know i'm trying to be consistent with and stick with in 2023 it's not going consistently every day of the week however when i can i do so i am today right now i'm just packing my little fanny so I can go outside and get some fresh air. But furthermore, if you watch my last, 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 last Jeep vlog, which was me decorating the Jeep, then you know that I put some zip tie sticky adhesive holders on the Jeep. I don't know if you guys noticed the last time that I washed the Jeep that they were still on there because I don't know how the hell to get them off. But my little Jeep cousin hollered at me while I was driving the other day and was like, yo sis, I got this thing that can help you get them off. So I was like, okay, brother, that's what's up. And I'm going to get that adhesive up off of my Jeep. So homeboy gave me the business, okay? Take a little plastic putty thing and I'ma flick it on up off there. So those are the vibes. You should also just stay tuned because I do have a little Jeep mod, Jeep accessory, however you wanna look at it, I don't know. Coming, once that comes in the mail, that I will definitely hip y'all to that as well. But let me go work out. Let me let me go walk, let me go peep the scene, let me go look at the pond, look at the ducks. Let me, I'ma I'm call y'all back, I'ma call y'all right back. jog or whatever <laughs> you want to call it it's complete it's so nice outside and it's so crazy that it's over 60 degrees like i don't know i'm still waiting for my blizzard because i was born in one where's the snow global warming whatever going on like i need my snow it is 906 well, let me go find this little plastic putty piece so i can flick these things off here and get the jeep back to what she's supposed to be yeah let's go do it Hard working every day, I'm stressed out 24-7, babe, no, no timeouts Wish we could fly away, you and I Go to our favorite place, oh yeah, yeah Make special memories together I'll be your company Special thanks to Seven Sparta for sponsoring this portion of the video. Hood Latch is compatible with Jeep Wrangler JK, JL, and Gladiator models. Each set includes one pair of hood latches and the necessary hardware for a simple install. Seven Sparta offers three varying hood latch style options for you to choose from. 
These aluminum hood latches with durable hardware offer a quick and easy installation process. Here you'll see other hardware not included but used for this install. The first step in this process is to remove the factory plastic hood latches. Removing both the upper and the lower original hood latch. Now that the original hood latches have been removed, you can now install the new 7 Sparta upper hood latch hook in the original mounting points using the Allen keys provided. Now, on the lower hood latch, remove the locking bolts to separate the pieces, which allows for access to the bolt at the bottom for installation. With the bottom bolt now easily accessible, you can now put the pieces back together. Okay cousin, that is it. A simple and quick installation that requires no drilling. Just removing your original hood latches and installing these new sleek 7 Sparta robust hood latches that are sure to satisfy your desires as they did mine to personalize your Wrangler. These hood latches are solid and dependable, even in high winds, so there's absolutely no hood flutter. Check out these hood latches for your Jeep Wrangler using the link in the description box below. And if you decide to purchase, use coupon code SIPDIQES to receive 10% off your 7 Sparta hood latches. And thanks again 7 Sparta for sponsoring this portion of the video. what is going on i am currently having some issues with the jeep y'all like what's going on she's still damn near brand new but over the weekend i was driving or whatever and i had parked the jeep and got back in it and tried to put it in drive and the shifter wouldn't move it was like stuck it was locked or something so i turned it off let it sit for a little bit turned it back on same thing like the gear shift just wouldn't move so finally turned it back off turned it back on and the shifter moved i was able to get it in drive but then the button that is on the shifter is basically stuck now and you can just move the shifter without even hitting the brake just moves on its own so just took it to the dealership and they said that no codes or anything came up as far as the shifter is concerned but one code did come up for voltage but I haven't been having like a problem starting it or anything I replaced the battery about maybe this time last year so unless they gave me a ratchet ass battery my battery should be fine as well but they had to order me a shifter it's still drivable it's just kind of scary because at any given time if you know somebody gets up here or if it's parked or you know what I mean the car's not on the shifter is gonna move so I just gotta make sure that I put the emergency brake on at all times but my shifter should be in I guess like three to four days so I'm gonna just wait for them to give me a call I do have the extended warranty or the extended care package because my basic warranty that's already expired so I have a deductible of $200 so hopefully the only out-of-pocket cost that I will have is my deductible again which is $200 so hopefully my shifter should be here by Wednesday or Thursday so I will touch base with you guys in a few days what's going on cousin it is currently 10 11 it is the day of my appointment to see what is going on with my shifter to at least get it replaced but i also just want to get an answer as to what even happened why the shifter even got stuck in the first place because sis was ready to be done with this jeep like it's gonna trade it in and keep it pushing but <laughs> when I trade in, I gotta trade up for better because I'm not going any less than what I already have via looks, via all that. So I'm about to head to the dealership and see what's popping and get this Jeep fixed and we're gonna go from there. We're gonna talk in a minute. I'm gonna come back and we'll talk to y'all. All right, I'm gonna call y'all right back. <laughs>
cousin. I'm back home now. That took about two hours. My appointment was at 10.30 and it's now 12.38. So roughly two hours it took to get it fixed or whatever. So basically, yeah, like I said, the shifter wouldn't shift, got stuck. So basically what I got installed was a new shifter. Initially, I thought my deductible was 200, but it was actually a hundred dollars. So <laughs> hey, $100 is still in my pocket but tech check and found release pin for the shifter lever inside the shifter module to be sticking, causing damage to the shifter knob assembly. The tech replaced the shifter and shift knob assemblies and now operating as designed. So hopefully that's all that was wrong with it. The issue was resolved, the issue was fixed because your girl was ready to trade it in. I was ready to call it quits real quick on the Jeep. <laughs> but hopefully, like I said, that that's fixed and I don't have to worry about that issue anymore. This shifter is covered for two years, no matter the mileage. So if something does go wrong with it, hopefully it doesn't, you know, it's covered. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong with it. I am kind of looking into, or I'm kind of researching, currently getting the Jeep re-geared. Yeah, I'm trying to skirt skirt. I am also researching and, you know, kind of weighing my options as far as just a second vehicle, just because yes, I do like having my Jeep. I don't like having it as my daily driver. So I am looking for a little boot around, a little bucket, get me from point A to point B, you know, during the week and just save the Jeep as my pull up, hop out on the weekend type thing. So I don't know, we'll see. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. And yeah, I'm glad that the Jeep is fixed. I was stressed out. I was about to trade it in. I don't know what I was about to do. I was all over the place, but <laughs> of course, because it's Jeep related and because I know y'all, my cousins and y'all real life rock with this Jeep shit. You know what I mean? I thought I would share this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And of course, if you a real one, then I'll be seeing you in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.